my name is Ypsilon, and welcome to another episode of Useless Cum Laude. Again, it's a philosophy vlog. Um, but today we'll be discussing the tragedy of the commons. Uh, back in 1968, an American ecologist by the name of Garrett Hardin wrote an article called The Tragedy of the Commons. The Tragedy of the Commons is an economics theory that touches upon the notion of our sharing a common resource and the tragedy when our social responsibility is replaced by self-interest. Things will all go well as long as we play by the rules, namely that our use of the commons remains sustainable. But if we deviate from these rules, or our social responsibility, and tend toward self-interest, while there may be quick, short-term benefits to the individual, the people as a whole will end up suffering, unless they act equally socially irresponsible. And the catch is, if everybody acts equally irresponsibly, the commons will be depleted and even destroyed, which would lend itself toward everyone suffering. And the long-term gain, benefits, uh, the common good, etc., would all be compromised. So the story of the tragedy of the commons goes a little something like this. Once upon a time, there was a village, and most of its income came from shepherds and cowherds. Around the village were vast open fields, shared by all, in common, equally and openly. And the shepherds and cowherds used these fields for their sheep and cattle to graze. One day, one shepherd realized that if he bought just one more sheep for relatively little cost, he would reap nearly all of the benefits and rewards, all the while gaining an upper hand over the other shepherds. So he did this, and yes, for little cost, he reaped mostly all the benefits, and hardly any of the other shepherds took notice. After all, it was just one more sheep, and there's still so much more land that no one felt the threat to overgrazing. Needless to say, the shepherd continued to add more sheep, as did all the others. And while each shepherd continued to gain the rewards and benefits of adding more and more sheep and cattle to the commons, the threat to overgrazing was shared by all. Eventually, the number of sheep and cattle became unsustainable, the commons were overgrazed, resources were depleted, the sheep and cattle starved, and uh, everybody died. The end. So what it comes down to is the short-term selfish interests versus the long-term group interests, or the common good. And if this trend continues, if they add just one more cow or one more sheep, they get more direct gain. All the while, the commons are depleted and the land destroyed, ultimately. So as cited in Hardin's article, the individual acquires a net gain of plus one for the utility component, whereas everyone else acquires a net loss of a fraction of negative one, to put it technically. So yes, a uh, net gain of plus one for me, and a net loss of a fraction of one for everyone else. Surely there are good people that are playing by the rules, and the ones that are only taking advantage are very few. But Hardin's argument states that conscience would be a self-defeating effort. And this is because the responsible individual would essentially be taken advantage of by everyone else taking advantage of the system. So he puts it in very black and white terms. Either everyone acts morally, or no one will. And in effect, the selfish individuals, left to their own devices, would deplete and destroy the commons. You either become a doormat, or a monster. Slash asshole. So since possessing a conscience, or acting morally, will not work in the system assumed by uh, Hardin. Essentially, all it takes is one bad egg. The commons must be regulated and maintained by an impartial government, say, via mutually agreed upon coercion. And simply put, rules, laws, etc. And this would ensure that the resources of the commons would not be exploited by any one individual or group of individuals acting selfishly. And examples of the tragedy of the commons today 
include overpopulation, food and water supplies, biodiversity decimation, smoking, not paying taxes, oil fields and the exploitation of land, dumping toxic chemicals into rivers, etc. The list goes on. That is the tragedy of the commons. It's why nice guys finish last, and why trickle-down economics doesn't work. I'm Epsilon, thank you for watching, and keep thinking.